What's going on, y'all, man? It's official Dre Live, dog. You feel me, man? I look like I'm sweating. I look tired, bro, because I am tired, bro. Not cool. It's not cool what just happened. Just try to get some Fortnite gameplay for the for the for the YouTube, bro. For the for the YouTube, you feel me, man? Game was not fucking with the group, bro. Me and my man, so bro, we was rely plotting on him, bro. Well, I plotting on him. Dude shot me in my big toe, took me down. Anyways, man, as y'all can see, I'm coming with another reaction video, but this is a different type of reaction, bro. I'm thinking, I'm thinking about bringing some anime to the channel, bro. So if you do fuck with anime, bro, like Dre fuck with anime, bro, subscribe to the channel if you're new, turn on notifications, boy. You feel me, man? We rocking to the thigh wild, bro. We almost there too, man. You feel me? I say, I say by the 25th of this month, bro. Not about to hold you, bro. It's not, it's not looking too bright right now. But, like, either way, we still grinding, bro. We never stop going grind, bro. Anyways, bro. Links to everything in the description, bro. You feel me? With all that being said, we're going to react to the strongest, to the 13 strongest anime characters and the 13 weakest. You feel me, man? With all that being said, though, let's get into the reaction. And call me green if you fucking with the kid, boy. What the fuck you talking about? You either love him or you hate him. Anime characters reach both spectrums, and everyone has a favorite to root for and another to root against. Thankfully for us anime fans, the character catalog is so large and expansive. Some of these anime characters are big and strong, while others... Let me know in the comments, bro, what's your favorite anime, bro? All right, let's get back to it. Literally couldn't hurt a fly if they tried. Today, we'll take a look at both the strongest and weakest anime characters of all time. King. 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 Vegeta, Dragon Ball's prince of all Saiyans, is often second One fiddle to man. Goku, but Vegeta has been right on his tail Strong. from the very beginning. From destroying planets with Nappa to taking down androids and taking on gods, Vegeta hasn't let becoming the strongest warrior in the universe out of his sights. It's driven him to achieve Super Saiyan levels. The yellow hair and orange outfit are iconic to anime, but there's something about the way Vegeta appears in his blue gear. If Goku is ever out of play, we know exactly who to call when bad guys come and here's a hint he's a bad boy he is here toshinori yagi was known for using the academia. one for all quirk to become japan's strongest hero known as all might we can't get enough of him clad in an america themed outfit with america themed techniques to match all might's counted on to help the student heroes of my hero academia reach new levels he's technically he even the takes two students uh, the dude with the green hair personal I keep his name. although midoriya becomes the new of owner of the powerful tough, quirk toshinori's wisdom is still useful for the fostering of future heroes it'll be hard for someone else to pull off the United States of Smash, though. We hope you're not hungry because the feeling's definitely going to get worse with our next entry. In a world where people fight to become the best chef with the best ingredients, Toriko steps in the ring with food and with fists. Already yeah. incredibly strong, Toriko also possesses appetite demons that help him in his battles. Although, without I them, mean, he's pretty ruthless and carries a I highly mean. destructive power. Part of that can be attributed to the way he attacks and devours food. With more training, he could be one of the strongest fighters ever. But for now, we'll be happy with his full course menu. There's a few youngsters here, and our first is Shigeo Kageyama, aka Mob from Mob Psycho 100. Mob is a 14-year-old student, but as you may guess from the title, he's also a powerful psychic. Mob's power reminds us of the power of humanity, which gets stronger as he feels a certain emotion. When that feeling reaches 100%, he explodes and unleashes that power. He can sense other energies, as well as absorb some energy for storage and personal use. Okay. He's also telekinetic and can even control plants. Although he's a newcomer, Mob no. has great potential within the world of anime. He, died, uh, he may look like a purple sphinx cat, but he's much more than that. that. He's needed. Beerus, that the god of destruction. Needed. We first meet Beerus in the Dragon Ball movie, Battle of Gods, where we see him take on both Goku and Vegeta. They both fail to measure up to the god's immense power. He's since appeared in the series, facilitating universe tournaments and representing the universe he's from. He's so powerful, only a handful of beings are shown to be stronger. He even had Shenron cowering in fear at his existence, although you'd most likely catch him taking a cat nap. He was one of the last survivors Not of the cool, Uchiha man. clan and is one of the fan favorites of the Naruto series. When we think of moody, powerful, semi-stylish ninjas, we can't help but think of Sasuke Uchiha. Already at the top of his class in terms of basic and advanced ninja training, Sasuke reaches the level of powerful ninja thanks to a family eye technique known as the Sharingan, a technique used to copy moves, enhance battle prowess, and see through illusions. It can even be enhanced further to become more powerful. Sasuke is not afraid of anyone. Not even his brother or best friend. 
Not many people can put someone as powerful as a god of destruction in check. Not even, say, the main character of a popular anime franchise. Kill. But sometimes, the answer is your right-hand man. And that is Whis, the angelic man. attendant to the god of destruction. While Beerus holds the title of god of destruction, Whis is shown to be much stronger. He's trained Beerus and often keeps him in check. In Dragon Ball Super, he even teaches Goku and Vegeta how to use the Ultra Instinct technique for them to unleash during the upcoming tournament. We guess being the martial arts teacher Damn. of the God of Destruction doesn't pay well enough for Whis. He ended up being one of the strongest long, beings in another episodes, universe and huh? went toe-to-toe -to -toe with Goku during the Tournament Kinda of Power. He's right the now. powerful alien, Jiren. We met Jiren in Dragon Ball Super Never during the this. battle between the Never universes, and he gave our heroes a legitimate scare. He was immensely powerful without even relying on a Super Saiyan form. Jiren fights with a strong sense and code of honor. He also doesn't speak as much as some other heroes we mentioned earlier on this list, but that doesn't take away from his sheer destructive force. He definitely deserves a spot here. He's a true rags-to-riches example of a great and powerful ninja. Next up on our list is Naruto Uzumaki, the, the number one hyperactive knucklehead ninja. Naruto is a ninja who's capable of extraordinary Naruto. feats, such as the Shadow Clone Jutsu. The technique creates real clones that copy the user's commands. He's also famously used the Rasengan, a move that takes your energy force to create a powerful spinning energy ball. There's also his connection to the inner demon fox uh, inside of him that grants uh, him a near endless supply of energy. He's definitely one of the strongest ninjas around, and you can believe that. Oh God. In a time where superheroes the seem man to be everywhere himself. in pop culture, the, the dream of being the strongest the hero is one many have. But only like, a few keep, seem to achieve that like, feat, and it turns out to be that, pretty like. boring. That is what the next person on our list thinks. And Talk we're talking shit. about the caved baldy himself, caved baldy. Saitama, Saitama, the One Punch Man. Boy. There's currently no known way to measure Saitama's power. Knocked it's him. sort of a punchline, but if you want to also have that power, apparently you just have to do 100, 100 push-ups, sit-ups, and squats. And Day, along with a 10 kilometer run. If your hair falls out too, then congratulations. You're as strong as One Punch Man. One day you're living your normal teenage life, going to school and seeing ghosts, you know, like the usual. The next, you're a substitute soul reaper for the society hunting down oh hollows. God, oh this God. is the life of Ichigo Kurosaka from Bleach. As a soul reaper, Ichigo has access to spirit energy attacks, enhanced physicality, and a sword called Zanpakuto. Each Zanpakuto has two layers of attacks, and Ichigo also has access to hollow attacks. Oh, wow. He manifests a skeletal mask alongside a host of other hollow abilities. After training, Ichigo becomes one of the most powerful characters in all of anime, even if he's essentially a ghostbuster. You know him, you love him, you definitely can't out-eat him. He inspired the costumes of some of the other entries on this list. Mm. He's everyone's favorite Super Saiyan hope of the universe, Goku. Combining martial arts oh, techniques with his Goku. Saiyan physique, Goku has become one of the most powerful beings in the universe. He's incredibly powerful can fly, and can even shoot multiple types of energy blasts. He's trained with martial arts masters, gods, aliens, and extraterrestrial equipment. This he also loves true. increasing his power level so he can take on stronger opponents. If you think he's strong now, we can't wait to see where he's going. We've already mentioned the Gods of Destruction along with the stronger teacher of said Gods of Destruction, but even in the Dragon Ball universe, there's a grand ruler over everything, and yeah. that is the Blue Zeno. Zeno is the Omni King, aka the ruler of anything and everything. All of the universes in Dragon Ball fall under Zeno's rule. Beerus and Champa cower at his power. Zeno can easily create and destroy universes, which is the deadly concept behind the Tournament of Power in Dragon Ball Super. But yeah. thankfully, Zeno is isn't a malevolent Omni King. That would have put a huge damper on his first ever meeting with Goku. Now, let's get the weakest characters on our list, starting with Mr. Satan from Dragon Ball Z. He may be called Mr. Satan, but that's an insult in terms of power. If you need a human, even Yamcha is a better option here. Mr. Satan has a little bit of clout as a human, but he's definitely a coward when facing fighters with the strength of Goku or Vegeta. His daughter could easily defeat him, and that was before she started training with the Saiyans. But even with all of his weaknesses, he ends up with all the credit for defeating strong enemies. What a pose! Sir. Some believe to truly be a superhero, you need superpowers. Oh no, Some believe you need Genos. a cool costume. For one hero, all he oh. needed was a bicycle. Oh. That hero My is man. Moomin Rider, Moomin the guy Rider. with the bike from the One Punch Man series. His heart is in the right place, but he truly he does not weak. belong in the battlefield. He can't fight for real, nor can he go without wrecking his bike. He doesn't even have muscles or good eyesight. He literally just has a bike, 
and a helmet. However, he's still a great hero to rally behind, even if he doesn't really do much of anything. Class C ranks Sometimes one. you're a spirit that's inside of a piece of candy, while other times you're stuck in the body of a teddy bear. This is the truth about Cone, the walking, talking bear that deals well, with Ichigo are. and Bleach. Although he can be a real wise guy, he can't really back a lot of what he says up, because he's literally stuck in a teddy bear's body. He's been that way since Ichigo returns to his body, so he typically just hangs around and bounces from supporting character to supporting character. But if he ever gets a solid body again, the revenge is going to be major. The game of Duel Masters is Jesus serious business, Christ. and we've seen how high the stakes can get. We've seen Yugi battles for Omer. souls, which is the battleground for top duelists like Yugi Muto, but not for his friends like Tristan. A good friend for sure, Tristan is your average Duel Monsters player. He doesn't take himself seriously like the other characters. Oh he God. just takes interest in his friend Joey's younger sister, Serenity. His Duel Monsters deck doesn't contain any strong monsters like Dark Magician or a Blue Eyes White Dragon. He just has some commando themed cards, but it doesn't matter. Tristan's power isn't his deck, it's his friendship. World domination is a goal for a lot of villains, yeah. and rarely do any Keep ever have the power to make ball. it happen. But for the next character on the list, he's had the opportunity multiple times, and squandered it away. It's Emperor Pilaf from the Dragon Ball franchise. He's not very intimidating, he's just ugly. At one point, he ruled over the Mushroom Forest, but now he and his subject Shu and Mai just travel around failing at their schemes. Although he did succeed in turning the powerful Goku into a child again, but that one success is no longer canon since it was GT, so take that, Emperor Pilaf! Up next on our list is the young Sakura Haruno from yeah, Naruto. Naruto. We might get a lot of heat for this one, but we're specifically talking about her before the jump into part two. She Damn. was originally set up to be a Genjutsu user in the series, but that concept was let go. So while wow. most other characters covered the fundamental ninja aspects, she didn't get a lot of useful field time. Oftentimes, the bulk of the story went either towards that Naruto or Sasuke. Fortunately, him. after the time skip, Sakura becomes an absolute badass. Nobody doubts her skills or strength once she starts kicking butt and taking names. Card games and tabletop games alike yeah. take a lot of skill oh, yeah. to master, but there oh, yeah. are some players who take to underhanded methods to try to be the best. That perfectly describes the duelist Weevil Underwood of Yu-Gi-Oh! Throughout the series, Weevil takes out weak duelists and uses trickery to defeat the stronger ones. At one point, he even throws the Exodia cards in his Yugi's grandfather's deck just because he's jealous and petty. He later teams up with Rex Raptor for more schemes that fail in major ways. Weevil could have been awesome, but he's lost all of his honor. That being said, he's still just he super lame. No honor. He didn't get much screen time in Dragon Ball Z because he still had a lot of training to do. In what we call Tien's Underlings Part 1, it's Chaosu. Although he posed more of a threat in the earlier Dragon Ball yeah. anime, that's because the stakes were much lower compared to Dragon Ball Z. In one of the first yeah. major arcs of Dragon Ball Z, he sacrifices himself in battle, and it turns out that it was for nothing. Fortunately, he's eventually revived, and he's been training ever since the old days when he appears in Super. Luckily, he's paired with Tien a lot, so he is without solid backup in a fight. Next up is the Desert Bandit himself, best friend of Puar, and one of the longest running characters in the Dragon Ball franchise, Yamcha. Yamcha appeared in the very first arc of Dragon Ball, and he attempted to rob Bulma and Goku of their valuables, and then their Dragon Balls. I've only Thankfully, been he watching dropped the whole Dragon bandit act pretty quick, and became a lifelong ally to the gang. At first, Yamcha presented himself as a formidable fighter with his famed Wolf Fang Fist attack, but much like Chaosu, he's been relegated to the Peanut Gallery and Explosion Town as the series progressed into Z. He wants to be the very best, like no one ever was, but he hasn't necessarily done the best throughout his journey to becoming Damn. a Pokemon master. Ash they Ketchum and his questionable there, trainer Ash choices make the weakest character side of the list. Ash is oh a 10-year-old child dead. who doesn't quite understand the world yet. He also continues to befriend stronger Pokemon without catching one of them, and has even thrown away many strong Pokemon because of not being friends with them first. Not a great trainer technique. He could have won a tournament a lot earlier if he made smarter choices, but we still love you, Ash. Being a superhero is hard work, and being a teenager is as well. So we get that the deck is stacked against Midoriya, but his rate of improvement needs to drastically improve. When we first meet Midoriya in My Hero Academia, we know he's quirkless, meaning he has no superpowers. This makes him feel inferior, and his classmates already aren't necessarily a fan of him. But thankfully, he finds a mentor in the powerful All Might, as Midoriya shares the same quirk as All Might. They both can obtain a passable quirk called 
one for all. So things are looking up in this situation for Midoriya. We've got one more Dragon Ball character for you on the but list. Well, he's a good off. fighter, he never pitches in to help the Z fighters in the ring. So, Yajirobe joins the weaker side of the list. Yajirobe met Goku and the gang back in Dragon Ball and is the first swordsman we've met in that fashion. But he doesn't do a lot to help out in battle with his sword. Thankfully, he pitched in once by cutting off Great Ape Vegeta's tail. He also delivers Senzu beans for the fighters during their fierce confrontations. But Yajirobe's definitely no Mr. Satan. Boy to wrap me. up our list, they try to protect the world from devastation and unite all peoples they within their weak, nation. Boy. But they're typically just blasting off again. It's gone. Jesse, James, and Meowth of the infamous Team Rocket. They've tried time and time again to use their Pokemon, wheezing an Arbok, and many traps to try and grab that Pikachu. However, they're almost always unsuccessful. They often can't think of the most basic obstacles in trying to steal Pokemon. That being said, you always kind of wow. want to root for them. In Team Rocket, there are worse members to fear. So, at the end of the day, we're thankful for Team Rocket. We've seen the power levels top to bottom. That's crazy, can't wait man. for the new crop of characters to come in. Anyways, dog, man, if y'all did enjoy the reaction, y'all do want to see more of these types of videos, even though this video is fairly long. I'm going to probably try to keep it a little bit shorter next time. But, man, if you like anime, subscribe to the channel. If you like you, subscribe to the channel, bro. If you like me, subscribe to the channel. If you fucking with me, bro, you hear me? But, uh, comment green if you fucking with me. All that being said, though, till next time, man. Peace.